wanted to talk a little bit about my electrical system and why I chose Renogy over Victron products. I started with two 200 amp hour lithium batteries. I've got double lot cabling going to a blue C on off switch. It feeds a Victron fuse panel, which uh, the bus bar was too small, so I replaced it with some three quarter by quarter inch copper. And that feeds a 2000 watt Renogy inverter charger. And I've got a blue C negative bus bar, a 60 amp Renogy charge controller, a rover. And then I've got a Blue C 12 volt panel, which feeds a little fuse relay box, which uh, is connected to my switch panel up top, which we'll talk about in a few minutes. This turns off my solar panels, which is 525 watts of Renogy, three 175 watt Renogy panels on the roof. And I've got a 300 amp Renogy smart shunt. And that's about it for the garage area. Inside, just built a small electrical panel. It's being closed up, matches the cabinets. I've got a Garmin Fusion uh, stereo that connects Bluetooth to my Amazon Fire Stick so we can watch movies when we're in bed or sitting around. I can also play music from my uh, Bluetooth from my phone. Got a Blue C switch panel, which currently is running the stereo, refrigerator, 12 volt outlets, which power the fire stick, charge phones, all that kind of stuff, and then a water pump, which hasn't been installed yet, but that'll run the faucet and uh, most of that gear. Got a controller for the Renogy inverter, and then a Renogy core uh, control panel here, so I can see it what the shunt's doing. Uh, solar panels, when I've got a load on them. Uh, a 12 volt air conditioner, which I'll do a separate video on this pretty soon. But it draws about 60 amps. When the compressor spools up, Although I've got a decent solar offset right now, so we can see what the panels will be generating when that starts drawing, drawing power. Right now, 300 watts solar coming in and 61 amps going out to the air conditioning. Max fan controller. And I've got a 12 volt fridge. It's a Bodega Cooler brand. It's got a Toshiba compressor in there. It's pretty nice. It holds quite a bit of stuff and it uses very little power, so I've been real pleased with that. I notice on the forums you get a lot of uh, bad press for Renogy products and an awful lot of people really advocating Victron, and they're more than twice as expensive in a lot of cases. Um, you see lots of posts from both brands with damaged products from mostly user error, loose grounds and improper uh, installation. And it's no doubt Victron has better customer service and maybe a better product, but I don't believe, at least for this build, that it's uh, worth the price tag if this stuff doesn't last and it starts failing, I may replace it with Victron products in the future, but I, I don't care too much about customer support, and so far the system's been in for about six months, not living in the van full time, but I do use it pretty frequently and it's uh, worked out great so far, so I'll do a long term review when this, this stuff gets a little more time on it, and uh, until then, if you got any questions about the electrical system, Feel free to post them, but everything's working great so far.